Welcome and thanks for joining me. Today I'm sharing with you the easiest fail-proof pavlova recipe that I've ever made. I would like to give a heartfelt thanks to the Country Women's Association for this recipe. To begin, you'll need four egg whites at room temperature. Room temperature egg whites do make a difference. I find it easier to separate the eggs when they're cold and then I let the whites sit out for about an hour, which brings them to room temperature. You won't need the yolks, save them for another use. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, fan forced, or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In a smallish bowl, combine one and a half cups of caster sugar or superfine sugar with one tablespoon of corn flour and mix it gently until it's thoroughly combined. Once your egg whites are at room temperature, place them in a large bowl. Add the sugar mixture to the egg whites along with a pinch of salt and five tablespoons of boiling water. The water must be boiling hot. Start beating everything on high speed for a few minutes until it starts to froth and then pause the beater and add one big teaspoon of white vinegar and one teaspoon of vanilla essence to the bowl. Then continue beating it until the sugar dissolves and the mixture holds its shape beautifully and soft peaks are formed. If you rub a little mixture between two fingers, there should be no grittiness, just silky smooth. Line an oven tray with aluminium foil and then pile the mixture onto the tray and use a spatula to shape it into about the size of a sponge cake. Into the preheated oven it goes, but most important, as soon as you put it in, immediately turn the heat down to 145 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it bake for an hour. Keep an eye on it because every oven is different. If you notice any tinges of colour, just turn the temperature down a bit more. The pavs need to stay nice and whitish. When the pav is nearly done baking, warm up a plate by immersing it in hot water for a few minutes. It is really important that the pavlova goes from the warm oven to a warm plate. Then once it's done baking, dry the plate, take the pavlova out and flip it upside down onto the warmed plate. Carefully peel off the foil and let it cool completely. And leave the pavlova upside down because what will happen whilst the pav is cooling, it will sink slightly in the middle and create the perfect shape for the cream topping. When you're ready to serve, whip up 600 mils of cream with two tablespoons of castor or icing sugar and spoon all the cream all over the top of your pavlova. And then it's decoration time. You can get creative and top it off with your favourite toppings or fresh fruit or chocolate. In Australia, passion fruit is a really popular choice and I love combining it with sliced strawberries or sliced bananas or sometimes both. And there you have it, the really mouth-watering pavlova ready to be devoured. Happy baking and I hope to see you again soon.